that researchers say the feathered spaceman offers long sought clues to the evolutionary path of birds. During my research, I stumbled upon a scientist who thinks that this ugly foot or hobbit's foot could either be from a dinosaur or a bird. Now we're going to see the perspective of Jing Mei O'Connor and with her quote of saying that the dinosaur foot might have bird feathers on it. Feathered birds or feathered dinosaurs with feathered feet have been something that scientists have been looking for decades. What are scientists learning about this topic? Well, researchers say that the feathered specimen known as ugly foot or hobbit foot offers long sought clues to the evolutionary path of birds. ACT scans of the foot of a 99 million year old bird whose feathers not visible to the scan were preserved in amber. This was said by Linda Zing et al. One day in 2014, a bee seller's words caught her eyes. I noticed that there was a very small bird foot in one of the beads, which made me very excited, said Dr. Zing, who works in the China University of Great Scientist in Beijing. After some quick negotiations, Dr. Zing swooped up the specimen, a grizzly dismembered, claw suspended in the beautiful honey colored bread, which he called ugly foot. With the 99 million year old amber bead now in his possession, Dr. Zing and his colleagues studied and CT scanned the entombed appendage. They saw that the top of the foot was coated in fuzzy feathers. Closer inspection revealed that there was bristle-like feathers protruding from the top of the toes. Paleontologists think that the ancestors of birds began with scaly feet. Eventually, the scales on the top of the feet evolved into feathers, but they later reverted back into scales. The feet did not undergo this change and instead stayed premature. These changes, scientists think, explain the differences we see in the top, of, top and bottom scales of some modern bird feet. The newly discovered feather foot in amber, the researchers said, provides support to their picture of the evolution of these foot scales. Now after this, what will happen next? Where they'll be flying fish? Maybe, maybe not. Thank you for watching and this is the end.